Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. Alright, let's craft together. Alright guys, so I had a couple of people to ask, what do you do with your lady sitting in the window um, designs when you're done with them? So there's many things you can do. You can put them on a coffee mug. You can put it on a notepad. You can put it on a t-shirt. You can put it on a canvas. You can frame it, print it out and frame it. You treat it just like any other design that you may create. It just depends on what you want to do with it, okay? So I'm going to take this design. I've added Good Morning Gorgeous, which was an idea that I got from another crafter and another group. Um, but I just added Good Morning Gorgeous, and I'm going to put this on a pen and gear notepad. So I have everything going in the reverse direction because I'm going to be um, printing this out and I'm going to sublimate it onto a pen and gear notepad. Okay, so I got my image all ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and get this ready to print out. Um, I'm using a new paper that I got from um, Aviva Warehouse. Um, no, 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 I didn't. I got it from Join Us and it's called Inkjet Star Trans, Star Trans Sublimation Paper. It was $15 and it comes with 100 sheets. It is 8 by 27 by 11.69 inches in size. So um, I just test this out and this paper with my sublimation ink is gorgeous. <laughs> So I can't wait to show it to you. Once I get on camera, on screen, I will show you what the paper looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and load my new paper. I'm not, again, I am not using a sub for this project. All right, so I got my printer loaded. So I can go ahead and print this out. So I'm going to go to file, print, I'm printing the current slide, I have it on my 7720, just going to check my settings here to make sure everything is good, and I got it on paper cassette one, letter size paper, and everything looks good there, so I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to go ahead and print this out. Now the pen and gear notepad is a 8 by 10.5 so I am going to be um, cutting this down in Cricut so I'm going to have Cricut to print out my template of my pen and gear notepad um, and then I will sublimate on top of it after pen and, after Cricut cuts it out for me so now that this is printing I'm going to see if this works sometimes it don't guys sometimes I have I have issues when I try this, so I'm hoping this is going to work. All right, so this is my pen and gear notepad in Cricut Design Space, and you can see that the sizing is 8 in width, 10.5 in height, and it already has all of the little pre-holes selected for it for a pen and gear notepad. And so I'm going to be using photo glossy paper, even though it says paper, it really is cardstock. So that's what I'm going to be using for this um, project, okay? So since I already have this template uploaded into Cricut Design Space, I do believe I bought this off of Etsy from Mummy Made. Um, so you can check her out. I'll link it in the description. I think that's where I got it from. It's been so long. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Make It in Cricut Design Space. And then I'm going to load my 8.5 by 11 photo uh, paper and I'm going to have Cricut to cut this out for me. Now I will tell you because of all these little holes you do want to make sure that your paper is really sticking to that mat because if you don't you're going to end up with a bunch you're going to end up with your paper shifting and it's going to de defeat the purpose here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get my paper ready 
and I'm going to turn it and then I'm going to tape it down just so it holds really good because this this mat is not that sticky and I don't want it to shift so I'm going to bring you along so you can see you know what I'm doing here so I'm going to go ahead and end here because all I have to do is just hit continue And then I'm going to select medium card stock. And I'm just going to leave it on um, the default pressure. I'm using my, my fine point blade. And all I'm going to do is just go ahead and um, have my machine to start cutting. So I'm going to end this here and then everything else I'll come on camera for you. All right, guys. So I have printed out my image. And if you know sublimation, you know that it prints kind of like on a dull look, but this is the paper that I'm using. Um, it seems very thin. It doesn't feel thick like the A-sub paper. Um, this is what the paper looks like. And again, I got this from Join Us here in Dallas, Texas. So this is what the paper, <laughs> this is what the paper looks like. And like I said, it comes with 100 sheets. It's actually... 8.27 by 11.69 so it's larger than the standard eight and a half by 11 um and it printed out or subbed beautifully i have been you know not really wanting this was 15 dollars. i had not used this because it felt so thin when i took it out of the package i was like oh this feels like some cheap sublimation paper but it prints beautiful i underestimated this star trans star trans Star Trans sublimation paper. I underestimated it. Now, if you live in Texas and Dallas, you can go to Join Us off of Harry Hines, or you can go to the Join Us Google Join Us um, vinyl shop in Dallas, Texas, because they are online. So you can also shop and purchase that paper offline um, on Join Us. And then I'm using a photo paper for pen and gear. And <clears throat> Now that I have my image printed out, guys, you will not believe how beautiful this is going to be. I'm going to go ahead and let Cricut cut out my, this is the photo glossy paper that I just showed you, pen and gear. I'm going to have Cricut to go ahead and cut out my template. So you can see where I put a little tape to kind of help hold this in place because my purple mat is not really sticky like I want it. So I'm going to have Cricut to go ahead and cut this out for me. And once I get this cut out, I'm going to come back, okay? So just to show you here, my Cricut, you can see my Cricut is it's going in to print out, or not print out, but cut out my, something on this paper. I got a little bit of ink on this paper. I hope it doesn't interfere with my project. But I'm going to come back once this finishes, okay? All right, be right back. All right, uh, so I have now had Cricut to cut out my template for me. And I had a little dab of black ink on there, and I tried to wipe it off with a little towel because I don't want to show up in my project. So my paper is a little bit damp right there where I wet it. So it is going to have like a little bit of a wet look right there you might not be able to see it as good as I can but what I'm going to do is just go ahead and um pop the little holes out here that Cricut has cut for me it's one good thing we don't have to worry about cutting these little holes because it's just a template it would be good if Cricut would let me print directly from here but it's not the case all right so now I have my template for my pen and gear and so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and get this ready for sublimation. Now, I'm going to be subbing on the glossy side. I'm going to be subbing this onto the glossy side. So I'm going to get it lined up to where I have just about everything covered. And I don't have to worry about having any white space. So I want to make sure that the entire thing is covered. And that's going to be beautiful. So I have the entire um, thing covered here, and I don't have to worry about that holes interfering with my image. Okay. Might be a little bit 
off right there for the good because I don't want it. Oh, da, 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 da. Let me see. I want to make sure my good morning, my good is not going to be impacted. All right, I think that's good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use some... I'm gonna use some heat tape to tape this in place so that it doesn't shift. So give me one second to get my heat tape. And don't y'all laugh at me being tacky, okay? All right, so I'm gonna use my heat tape to tack this down. and hold it in place. So I'm just gonna take like maybe two pieces to take this down. And here I am on, on the World Wide Web licking tape. <laughs> All right, so to show you guys, hold on one second. I'm going to take this pin and gear pad and I'm going to remove this metal piece. And I'm going to show you how easy it is if you've never done this before. It's really easy. <laughs> it is really easy, guys. So what I'm going to do is take little tools. And I am going to unbend this wire on the end to free it up, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is just get it to where I can take and have free access to roll this out. Now you can cut this wire and I may if I can't get this like I want it, but I'm gonna try to see if it's gonna let me pull it apart. There we go, all right. So I'm probably still going to snip it a little bit and it will be perfectly fine. All right, so I am going to have to get my wire cutter here that fell down on the floor. So I'm going to use my wire cutter and I'm just going to clip this little metal piece. And... All right, so I got that little piece clipped. I'm gonna clip this one so that it's gonna roll freely. It flew all the way over there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is you wanna hold your pad in place after you get that end snipped off and you're just gonna start rolling. Make sure I got this. Bend this down a little bit. It's kind of sticking up, interfering with the process. All right, you're just going to hold. Make sure you got your paper in place, and you're just going to roll. You see how that metal piece is coming out? You're just going to roll. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. And keep rolling <laughs> until you get it all the way out. only takes a minute for you to get this done, a minute or less. Okay? So just keep rolling. All I did was snip the top and the bottom. Little piece of metal that was bent. I snipped that. I've had Cricut to go ahead and cut my template. I got it ready for sublimation. My printer or my heat press is heating up. I'm going to sub it at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. We're going to put this to the side. Keep holding this in place so that you don't you know, mess up your papers. And we're gonna take that pen and gear cover, and this is now trash, okay? Or you may wanna save it for a project where you need a piece of paper. And we're gonna take this now, and we're going to sublimate that image onto what's gonna now become our new cover for our pen and gear. So what you're gonna have is that sublimated Good Morning Gorgeous image printed onto here. And then we're just gonna take it, line it up, and we're gonna put that metal piece right back on, okay? So I'm gonna end here.
because I'm going to take you over. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to sub this. I'm going to pause you. I'm going to go ahead and sublimate this 60 seconds at 400 degrees. Um, make sure you tape your image in place so it doesn't shift and you get ghosting. You want to make sure that your entire image is covered because you don't want any white space. I don't want any white space on my notepad. And so it looks like I got it pretty good. And I can tell from where the hole punches are that none of what, you know, like it's not on her face. It's not on the good morning gorgeous. So I don't mind these holes right here. Okay. But other than that, I think we got it. It's going to be beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pause you. I'm going to sub. 60 seconds um, at 400 degrees, and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna put this back together. That way we'll just have one entire video without me having to go and you know do the heat press thing. But I will kill this off with you guys, okay? Be right back. All right guys, y'all ready? So I have now sublimated my image onto my new pen and gear. I have not taken the tape off. So we're gonna take that off together so you can see how beautiful it is. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That photo glossy, oh my God, it's so pretty. All right, so I'm gonna to try to take this off without ripping up my um, paper here. So I got a little rip right there, but it's okay. All right, so this is now my new, or what will be your new pen and gear. Okay, I'm totally messing up with this heat. This is now my new pen and gear cover, okay? So let's show you how easy it is to put it back together. So remember, you wanna hold this as tight as possible. You're gonna line it up just like that. Okay, do I see that? Lined up perfectly. You're gonna take your metal piece and you can start from the bottom here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna loop that wire into that first hole. You gotta be able to see what I'm doing. And just like you, you rolled it to get it out, you're gonna roll it to get it back in. So I'm trying to hold it where I got it, everything lined up. Trying to hold it like this and show you at the same time is a bit of a challenge, but we're going to get her done. All right, be careful because you do not want to scratch your photo glossy paper. So just take your time to put it back together so you guys can see how it's going back in with no problem. And that's why I say just snip it on the end, take some wire cutters and snip it on the end so you can get it perfectly you know, curve there without that little bend in it. And then you'll be able to get it back in there with no problem. So I'm just rolling it right back in. Said end, but in. All right, take your time. Don't get panic. It's very easy. This is a very this is one of the easiest things I've ever done besides the little notepads that I showed you guys. This is like so easy. And the output is beautiful. Where are they gonna go and get this beautiful design that you've created? You know, it's nothing better than creating your own design, you know, in PowerPoint using different pictures just doing your search putting that picture together to make one complete look like we did here and we are almost done a couple of more loops loopity loops but look at how easy it's going back on so if you've never done this before guys just go through this tutorial and you will see how easy this is to do I will not lead you astray. Okay. So we got that. And we're going to go here. And 
here. All right, last one is always a charm. So we're gonna put that in. And then once you get it in, guys, you are going to bend it to connect it so that you don't have to worry about your papers coming out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my metal, my little metal piece here and bend this. So I'm just gonna take my little, um, I think they call these like wire nose. But I wanna get this in here first. And I'm just gonna bend it to connect it back on that little end right there so that you know it can't just undo itself and that one missed the mark all together we got that and we're going to bend the one on the bottom and all i'm doing is just taking it and looping it back you know to connect to the previous one and look at that you got that notepad all put together now no issues that's your cover perfect okay so now when people ask you well what are you going to do with those i kind of messed it up when i wiped that <laughs> right there but it's still pretty look how glossy that is guys so uh i'm going to show you now everything that you're going to need to do this project okay so of course whatever design you're going to create in microsoft powerpoint or wherever you create your design i printed my image out my design i printed it out in an eight and a half by 11 so that i could line it up the way i wanted it and i didn't end up with white space all around there okay so if you're using microsoft powerpoint don't forget to mirror so that everything will come out in the correct position or direction. You need some sublimation paper. Again, I'm using this Star Trans um, paper that I got from Join Us Warehouse or Vinyl Shop here in Dallas, Texas. And it was 100 sheets for $15. I'm just covering it back up. This is the paper. It says inkjet. Star Trans sublimation paper, okay? And I'm also using Pen and Gear Photo Glossy or Photo Paper. Even though it says paper, it has the consistency of cardstock. I use my heat tape to tape my image in place so that it doesn't shift when I lay my heat press down. I use my Teflon sheet. I put one on the bottom and one on the top so my image was laying inside like that. And then I put a Teflon sheet on top. Okay, um, so I use two of these and I use my um, needle nose, I guess that's what you call these things, I don't remember, but my little needle nose pliers and I also use my um, wire cutter. <clears throat> use my, my wire cutter to clip those little edges on both ends of the pen of your notepad. And then I just used a pen of your notepad. I bought these at Walmart and I think they were like 88 cents. So I bought these at Walmart. They were like, not this one. I might have used the last one that I had, this pen and gear. But you can also sub on these or take these off. They act just like the pen and gear. They are pen and gear, but it has the plastic cover. So just so you guys can see. So all you have to do is clip that little bent Part at the top and the bottom and then just roll it off roll it off until it comes all the way off so you can use these or you can use the paper covers because this is going to come off so you don't have to worry about this right here this is going to come off okay so you're going to need your pen and your notepads and which one would you rather have i already know the answer <laughs> you want to have this one right um and what else um, the template, I'm going to link it in the description. Like I said, I think I bought it from Etsy, one of the suppliers on Etsy, um, Mommy Made. Um, she has a template out there. Um, and then I just uploaded that template, the pinning, I call it the pinning gear template. I uploaded that into Cricut Design Space. 
and had Cricut to cut out the template for me. You don't have to do any cutting. And then I sublimated my image. I sublimated my image um, onto that pen and gear, that uh, photo glossy pen and gear paper. I sublimated the image on there 400 degrees, 60 seconds. Don't mind that little, you know, blurb right there because that's where I had the ink and I used a little rag, a wet rag to get the ink off. And so that left a little, you know, boo boo right there. But it is absolutely gorgeous, y'all. Look at that shine on that photo glossy. And, you know, I underestimated this paper, but it subs really well. So that's it, guys. If you're currently in my Facebook group, Ken Doris's Cricut and Creative Crafters, I want to thank you guys so much for supporting me and following me and believing in me to lead you in a group. Um, again, if you would, uh, and I mean, if you would like to join my group, it is Ken Doris's Cricut and Creative Crafters. Um, send your group requests to join to Ken Doris's Cricut and Creative Crafters, not to my personal Facebook, but to my um, group Facebook, which is Ken Doris's Cricut and Creative Crafters. And if you're currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, guys, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I try to make my tutorials as easy as possible so that you can follow along. One of the things I hate more than anything is a tutorial that just has music playing and you have to really watch to see what they're doing. Sometimes I can get it and sometimes I can't. So I just think it's better when you're talking to the person to help them understand. We already can't ask questions, right? Because it's a video. But anyway, um, that's neither here nor there. But thank you guys so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And if you like my method of teaching and you want to join us, on my YouTube channel, then please like, share, and subscribe. And also hit that bell notification in the top right-hand corner so you can made, be made aware anytime I upload tutorials to YouTube, okay? All right, guys, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Good morning, gorgeous. <laughs> All right, guys, you have a great day. And you know my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have a great day. Bye.